The workshops are conducted in collaboration with Bougainville Police Service, respecting all COVID-19 preventive measures and protocols. ICRC Head of Office in Bougainville, Mukamed Kavchukov, said over the recent years, ICRC's engagement with the BPS contributed to developing a meaningful bilateral dialogue focused on exclusively humanitarian aspects of law enforcement. Kavtsukov said that training along with other activities of ICRC in the region seeks to promote the universal humanitarian principles and international human rights law, especially among those in prison to reduce unnecessary human suffering. ICRC has been supporting the BPS authorities in their efforts to improve detention conditions and ensure humane treatment of people in the police custody. Kavtsukov added the current ICRC-supported training initiative can certainly be a part of the overall efforts extended by Bougainville authorities to build a responsive, professional, and human-oriented police force. ICRC implemented a similar training in 2020 and has been organizing such training events for police personnel in Bougainville since 2013. Meanwhile, ICRC political advisor Helen Amnol said the aim was that all participants acquire knowledge on international policing standards and human rights law. She said these workshops serve as useful reminders for law enforcement officials to use their powers responsibly to prevent humanitarian consequences, especially for those in their custody. The ICRC has been working to protect and help people affected by violence and tribal fighting in Papua New Guinea since 2007. Frida Kana, TV1 News.